the winner of Idols West Africa 2007 is... Omaomi has been my friend since I first interviewed her for True Love magazine in 2007 after she was first runner-up on Idols West Africa. You knew immediately, as everyone did, that this one was going to be a star. I am from the land of free. Everything she wanted and sought for came. In Tanzania. And yet, she tells me she didn't feel happy. I was happier when I was broker. At the exact moment when she should have been walking on sunshine, she turned to her family and to a therapist to help her walk through the issues that brought her here. I had to be told that, you know, you don't need the... You don't need the validation or love from people who are not willing to give it to you. You can't go and search for it because truly, what does that do for you? So just before we came on, mm -hmm. you said, I don't take myself too seriously. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, because... You know, when you take yourself too seriously, you get into that, you know, when you get into a bad place or mm. that kind of place where you can't come out of just like that, you know, when, you, you, when you're so into your feelings, oh, I feel this type of way, you start breaking it down. I feel it, it doesn't help, mm. you know. So sometimes I, I just don't take myself too seriously. I just look for things or, um, you know, to just get myself out of, you know, being into that place where I'll be like, why are you not smiling? Why are you doing like that? Is it a form of fear? Is it fear that if you engage that feeling, eh, it will take you places you don't want to go? That's the thing. Why do I want to go there? So, <laughs> but I'm not really afraid. Maybe it's like, I don't know that you will call it fear of the unknown. Yeah. I won't call it, I don't think the emotion is fear. Yeah. I just feel like um, there are times when I've taken myself seriously. Yeah. Okay, you see the, okay, let me explain it to you this way, the best way to understand. Let me use anger as an emotion. Mm -hmm. When I, when I get upset, really angry, I mean, the thing that causes the anger will probably have stopped happening or happened like a split second ago, but I could stew for like three days. Right. Do you understand right. what I mean? Right. So if I, if, so it's a conscious effort, effort to avoid not to, to avoid it. So yeah. that's why I don't take myself too seriously because yeah. then you give room for these emotions and then the things that prompts it would have stopped happening, yeah. but you will be in this place where you have a family, everybody's looking up to you and you're not smiling. I feel that the less complicated life is, mm. the more um, content I will yeah. be. Mm, I love that. Thank you. I love, I love that. Thank the you. less complicated life is, the more content. I feel like that's what, I sense that that's happening with you. That's exactly that you what's shedding. happening with me. I'm shedding, oh my God, I've been, I've been shedding. I've been, you know, into this space where I had to question myself. Mm. I... I sought help at some point mm. because I felt I wasn't happy and mm. I needed, I had everything, you know, mm. I had a lovely family. My husband is the best, the absolute best. You know, you know, they worry me, you know, I have two children that if I want to do competition, I would say, oh yeah, come and speak or you vote for them. My money not waste, they want me and know. You know, they're fine, they, they can place themselves in butter, <laughs> but if you give them Gary, they can eat. <laughs> You know, so I, yeah. I, I'm in this place where I'm, I, I should say that I'm somewhat, you know, comfortable and happy. So yeah. why was I, why was it not reflecting Flexing. in my feelings, mm -hmm. you know? So that was where, you know, I sought help. And what kind of help? I had to talk to a therapist. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. So when he, he listened for a long time, he listened, I had like sessions and then he said, <laughs> um, he gave me some pointers and not much that I would like to, you know, like divulge. Yeah, yeah. But the, the, one of the things that that helped me to do was to shape myself in such a way that, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just in that place where nothing really bothers me. I try as much as possible not to make things bother me. And then I have outlets, you understand? You know, I enjoy my alone time. I don't feel guilty about sitting down all day in my jammers, watching TV and drinking whiskey. You know, 
So, so you designed your life? I have designed it. The, 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 the thing when I want. So the only thing now will go make me sad now, oh, hunger. When I was in Port Harcourt, seriously broke on a 5,000 naira salary that probably finishes in, in one week because it was like an allowance. Mm. But I was happier then. I probably would eat only once a day, you know, because of hustle, trekking, mm -hmm. entering bus. Mm -hmm. But I was happier than, you know, not now, mm -hmm. as in before yeah, yes. I got when to that point yes. where exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I used to be more outspoken and I didn't used to care. But the moment I, I got pregnant mm -hmm. for my first child mm -hmm. and I gave birth, I started becoming, let me use that word, soft. Mm -hmm. I started becoming, you know, more concerned about how people feel or felt. So I would probably, if my sister was doing something now that I don't agree with, mm. I, w I wouldn't say anything. In fact, sometimes I would probably even help, mm. you understand, just because I don't want that person. And the same question, the same thing goes to my husband. So I probably just, you know, let everybody. So the thing was that like, what do, what do I want? What do you want? So I said, okay. So now what I want, I say it. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I tell you, if you say, I, I want to do this like this, mm -hmm. I want to, as long as it concerns mm -hmm. me, I will tell you straight up, no, mm -hmm. nicely. So mm -hmm. yeah, I just got into that place where, mm -hmm. you know, I became a little selfish. Right. Because I find that when selflessness, it's not like I'm saying everybody should be mm -hmm. selfish, but sometimes selflessness really makes you become this person that you end up not liking. Not liking yeah. My father has 14 children yeah. and I'm the 12th child and I was the only person at that time to get pregnant out of wedlock. Ha. Yeah. So that so, has its own pressure. Do you understand? They were like, eh? A whole shift became, yeah. hey! We are the boy. We are family. <laughs> we need to gather, yeah. do meeting. Yeah. My mom, hey! You know how women are? My mother, in -law, my mother, I said, hey, look, let me just explain it to you like this. If you people worry me, I said, Brother Camilla, are you ready to marry? I'm not. Are you? He mm. said, he's not. I said, so let's take our time. Mm. If God happens, that because this was, I conceived three months after we met. Right. So we didn't really know each other. Right. So right. if we, yeah, do you understand? Right. So if it's something that will happen, yes. it will happen. Yes. If it does not happen, it doesn't happen. I don't want you to feel pressured into anything. Mm. So we're together for, you know, like about three years. We got married. We got engaged when Camilla was three. We got married when Camilla was four. Do you understand? So we knew what we wanted. Then I wanted to be married to him. He wanted to be married to me. Yes. There was no, um, no, let's do it because of the child. Mm. You know, so that book made me understand that what people's opinion of you doesn't really matter. Whether it is, um, whether it is good or bad, it doesn't really, it does, it, it's them, it's on them. It's about them. It's about them. Yeah. And then, you know, do the best that you can use your words well. Mm. You know, mm. I try not to be as flippant as I used to be, mm. you know, before, mm. but I'm just living. You understand? Just, yeah. Some people yes. don't remember to live. Yes. Yes. Living is not necessarily enjoyment, yes. you know. Mm, I love that. You know, so and enjoyment doesn't necessarily mean happiness. Yes. Yes. Because there are some people that live in uh, glass houses and use uh, the kind of glass now that they are using is a golden. Do you understand what I mean? Everything luxury, but they are dying. Yes. Yes. So me now that I'm here like this, yeah. not, no hand has not fallen off from my body. Yeah. Teeth is complete. Why yeah. won't I shine it? Yeah. Hmm. John, my 13 year old self did not know that I will become who I am yeah. right now. Yeah. So sometimes, like, so if I, if I wanted, what I'll tell my 13 year old self is don't limit yourself. It is better to overdo than underdo. Take mm. advantage of mm. every opportunity mm. and just, you know, go.